way too smart to be teaching first year biology, and you let us know it all the time. A stage set for two. A new two-person play by Laura Maria Sensabella has come to Luna Stage to test what we think we know about science, Muslim culture, and the power of mentor relationships. We're here in West Orange to talk to the team behind this gripping new drama. What is Paradise about? Paradise is about the relationship between a 17-year-old Yemeni teenager living in the Bronx and her high school science teacher. You think it's just about this girl wanting to be perfect, to get a perfect grade, bring home perfect grades to her parents, but it turns out much more than that. She comes to me wanting something and it's something only I can provide in her world because we're in a very, very tough Bronx high school and I have all this science background and she wants to be a scientist. So I'm like the last chance saloon for her. And what my character doesn't know is she's the last chance saloon for me. Where did the idea for this show come from? I actually had a high school chemistry teacher who had a PhD and in the way of very cruel high school students we used to say he was a loser and why was he there teaching us of all people and so that was part of the beginning and then I used to teach in the public schools and I taught a lot of young women like Yasmin the protagonist. Tell us about your character. What is she like? She's precocious and funny and smart and loving and kind and generous. And she's trying to figure out a way both to meet her aspirations of being a scientist while also staying connected to her Yemeni family and her culture. Because if there are no scientists that are religious, what? You'll give it all up, then it can't be that important to you. My character was a rising star in the science world and I had everything at my feet and through a series of poor personal choices, I lost it all and I end up teaching science in a public high school in the Bronx. There's a very interesting diversity element to this show with Yasmin being Yemeni American. What do you think that element brings to the show? It really, and in a way, is, is larger than just about her culture and her religion and is about what does that mean when your culture and religion are in conflict and, and your family, honestly, with who you're becoming. And what's amazing about this play is it's really not political. This young girl happens to be Muslim and I happen to be from rural Virginia. So what I love about the play is it, it's two very different people who come together. What are Lily and Grant bringing to these roles? I think Lily brings this beautiful openness and spirit that when she read the play for the first time, I was like, that's her, that's Yasmin. And Grant has this beautiful combination of depth, emotional depth, and uh, a sense of humor that is delightful and that I need for the character. When I told members of our congregation down in Boones Mill, Virginia, that I believed in evolution, they stood around me in a prayer circle and spoke in tongues. <laughs> what do you love about this show? I think it takes people where they want to go and maybe don't expect to go and didn't even know they wanted to go and yeah, but it's, it's beautiful and I think we could use a little more beauty in the world. Real art stops you, makes you think and reflect on who you are. And that's, that's exactly what this does. What kind of a night am I in for when I come to see this show? You're going to really watch these two characters before your eyes go on a real journey, an unexpected journey together, and end up someplace that you don't expect. And I think you also will come and see yourselves in these characters in ways that you may be surprised by.